The decision around vocational qualifications, which every student at our college sits and studies, in addition to GCSEs for some of our 16 to 18 olds, has not yet been made. And uh, we are still waiting for clarification from all awarding organisations on how they will treat each of our vocational qualifications across the college. As I said earlier, we have hundreds of different courses. We also operate with around 27 different awarding organisations and Ofqual have decided that they would leave it for individual awarding organisations to decide amongst three key categories, I guess, how they will deal with all of the vocational qualifications. And those three key categories will depend on what the purpose of that qualification and really, I guess, why you're studying that qualification actually are. And they'll fit into one of three categories. First category will be whether the qualification is serving the purpose of either progression to further education or higher education, which a number of you will be studying courses for. The second reason will be for the purposes of progressing into employment, specifically a uh, skilled occupation or a technical competence um, that the qualification is that you're going to be getting. And the third category will be a mixture of both of those, where it may be progression to employment, FE or HE. If the qualification is for purposes of progression to FE and HE, and a significant number of our Pearson, BTEC, Edexcel qualifications will fit into that category, then we expect that there will be a process of what we call estimation. They'll be treated very similarly to the GCSE, where, again, based on knowledge, teachers will then estimate what grades you would have got, either for the whole qualification, if that's relevant, if you're completing this year, or for units and modules that you may well have completed um, if you're only part way through. For those that need it as a skilled occupation, so the qualification is actually giving you technical competence. Of course, awarding those qualifications through estimation would be risky because that could and potentially have lots of uh, longer term ramifications on things like, let's say, health and safety, for example. Somebody has uh, awarded a qualification without us knowing for sure. So awarding organisations will be asked to adapt what they call adaptation of those qualifications, which may mean they have to adapt the assessment methodologies. It may mean that delay they delay them um, and put them later on in the summer if we're allowed back um, sooner, um, or it may be that they have to adapt how they judge your technical competence. And again, that will be quite a complicated uh, process, we suspect, and we're waiting to hear from awarding organisations how they will deal with that. And that will particularly apply in some of our very heavy practical areas, so areas like electrical, uh, maybe even childcare, those sorts of subjects that we suspect that may well apply to. But again, we do not know for sure yet. I'm just We're just guessing. And of course, for those that are of mixed purpose, that third category, then we expect them to be a decision made around whether they really do heavily fit within the first or the, or the second category and awarding organisations will have to make those decisions. We don't know yet exactly how that is. Different awarding organisations have published differing information on their websites. Um, as you see that information on the website, we see that information on the website. We don't get an advance notice or advanced heads up. But what we do know is that there is currently a consultation that is running on how that is being treated for everybody to input. Uh, the college has put its feedback into that consultation and we don't expect that consultation to close for at least another week, which means that we can't really, and we won't really expect to get a lot more detail on how vocational qualifications will practically work for you for at least another week. And once we get that information, then our teaching staff will make the necessary adjustments to be able to know exactly how and what you can or can't do. In some cases, we may find that some very small numbers of students may well be asked to come back and sit practical assessments, for example. But again, we're guessing, we don't know for sure. As soon as we do, we will let you know.